Hello, my beautiful babes. Sweet Angel here. Yes, indeed. And this video, I wanted to just take a little moment to do some tidbits of maintenance with y'all. I won't go into full detail. If you want a full detail on any of these steps, please hit me up down in the comments. So let me get started. So let's start with the nails, of course. Y'all, I've had these press-ons on for a minute, so time to take them off because they're coming off anyway. I've been using the Roslyn Natural Nail Tips. Man, these are amazing, y'all. They are on Amazon. They are affordable. You get over 200 of them, okay? Are y'all listening to me? 200. And baby, you can just pop them on just as they are. You don't have to do anything to them. However, one thing I've started to expedite the process and to also make sure they're that I don't have any spills and all of that stuff on my cuticle area. I've actually been putting gel polish on them prior to putting them on my finger. So that's what I wanted to show y'all today. Check out the process here and everything that I'm using will be listed below.
So here I'm going to pop in and give you a little bit of conversation because I have some items here that I wanted to talk about, which was these lashes that we're going to do these eyelash, these eyelash extensions with. Uh, they are from Amazon. The name of the company that makes these is Law Best. The Law Best, I believe. And I originally got the 14 to 18 millimeters, but I was like, oh my God, these are just too, too, too long. So I opted to go in and get the other ones, which started at like nine millimeters or something like that. So I am going to go ahead and attempt to do this, y'all. Again, all products will be listed in the description box. So I am just showing you all exactly what I have here in the bag. This little bag came from a company that sent me some bath products and I just put everything in here because they really don't, you know, fit in the drawer because of some larger items that is all part of this process. So in doing these lashes, I was a little bit nervous. I've seen different folks do them. I have watched videos and I said, well, let me try my hand. All I can do is try my hand. Now, I'm going to go ahead and put it right here that y'all, I'm not a professional at doing this, so if I did something wrong, y'all gonna let me know. I know you will, but you don't have to because I know when I, I finish up a project, whether it's good or bad, okay? But let me do my do and let me show you how I did it. So right now I am brushing on the bond. This is out of the Falscara by Kiss, the bond and seal tube. Brush on the bond and we'll let that get a little tacky. I am so new to this y'all. I been wanting to get out to get lash extensions done but then i start checking the price and it was just something that i don't think i can afford to keep up like that so i opted to do my own now before you get started with it make sure you gather all of your supplies your cluster lash extensions your bond adhesive and i'm using the one from kiss or any lash adhesive suitable for clusters. I also have the Falscara, which is from Kiss, which is what I'm using right now. It has the bond and the seal on it. You're gonna need tweezers, also a lash comb or brush. I also had purchased some lash glue remover as well. That's in case of any mistakes that you might have. And you can also have some cotton swabs on hand. Now, another thing is micellar water. Y'all, it's great for cleaning the lashes, okay? Now, once you've taken care of all of that, you're ready to prepare your workspace to get the job done. And make sure you have some good lighting. Make sure you have a mirror on hand. And I want to apologize right now because y'all, I got out of frame so much, but overall, I think you will get the gist of it. So don't come in the comments at me telling me I'm out of frame. Heck, I can see that myself, but I was working. I was trying to get these on and maybe I'll do better on the next go round. But overall, I started out with cleaning my own lashes off, make sure eyelashes are clean your eyes are clean and free from any makeup or oil and again my cellar water is great for that or a gentle cleanser uh, you can do that and remove any residue now before you get started make sure you know what eyelash shape you want to have make sure you select the clusters that you want now i am doing clusters remember that you choose the appropriate size and the style of cluster you want and based on your preferences and that's based on you know your mainly your natural lash shape but i like the wispy look that's what i went for and now once you get all of that done, y'all, it's then time to go ahead and 
put on I know my bond is pretty much dry I put on the adhesive or just put it on a little surface where you can get to it easily I did buy these little rings from Amazon all of the products I'm using will be listed in the description box and I just squeezed a small amount of the bond adhesive into that little area on these little rings little heart shape rings which are really cute and using tweezers I carefully dipped the base of the cluster lash into the adhesive making sure only a small amount is applied now again I didn't do this to perfection y'all every now and then too much glue got on there because it didn't appear to me that I was getting enough on there so next time I'm probably gonna pop on my eyeglasses and do all these things and then take them off as I'm applying the lashes so the process was again very interesting I did flop on that first one heck I think one of them actually fell off during the process so I had to reapply it honey it was a challenge but I made it through it uh, I lifted my eyes so I could just see where my lash line and my lashes you know connected there so I did not put it on my actual lash line or in that water line anywhere don't do that you know I did get a little glue in my eye I mean around my eye and I was like oh this is not a pleasant feeling if this goes in your eye but I didn't get it all the way in there it just kind of touched on it but you know I was working the process now this is sped up y'all so be mindful of that I did take my little fan my little handheld fan to help dry that glue up a little bit faster once all of that is done it is then time to put on the seal i put the seal on top and bottom i know my actual lashes were on top of these uh when i went under there but i still did it that way and i'm pretty much pleased with what i did on this first go round. so if you were hesitant like i was initially to do lash extensions and trying to figure out how they're put on baby it is so many awesome videos on youtube that you can run to now mine again is I hate my first time out okay so there are some very skilled people who can show you specifically how to do this and now I'm just repeating all of those steps okay and once I finished doing the first set over there on my eye I did take my tweezers and pressed it together like my little angle tweezers to make sure that both the lash and my natural lash was touching you know and squeezed it together just holding them in place for a few seconds to just allow that adhesive to you know really snap in place so that is basically all I did and again it was pretty pretty cool i love it i love it i will get better at it as time go along but for now baby i'm happy i'm happy i was very happy so i am definitely again very apologetic about me getting out of frame i don't know what to tell you all i can say is i was trying to get in there i was trying to concentrate at first i wasn't going to even put this video out but i'm like why not i've spent the time recording it just to let y'all know that i did it i did it myself and i will continue to uh, do this little tidbit because baby i think these are like super great to to do i mean I, i'm cool with it i'm cool with it y'all just saw that one fall off yeah my lashes are not real thick so i really don't have much to grip on and i will probably show y'all in a short video how i took them off i did take them off probably the next day or the day after to actually um 
reapply and try to make the situation better because I, you know, again, it was awkward for me trying to do this myself. As you can see, it was, you know, kind of tedious turning your hand certain ways and trying to see at the same time without your hand blocking. I was struggling with this particular one for a second there, but I finally got it on. And I realized that I needed more lashes on to go across my eye. You know, I doubled up on the longer one and doubled up on each one of them instead of just putting one single one going down 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 and it gave it a more fuller look and baby i love this i really really do and this will be my go-to way of doing lashes now i'm not ready to tell y'all how they held up in the shower letting the water run down my face i will do that in an upcoming video and let you know but for the most part as far as pulling and tugging on them they're intact okay they're intact and i'm loving how this process is And there is the finished look. I mean, just bat my eyes like I'm all cute, girl. What? <laughs> That's it, y'all. Maintenance look. Here you go. Hair, nails, and lash extensions. I'll see y'all on the next one. Take care of yourselves. Be sweet. And honey, we got more great videos coming. So stick and stay right here. Your girl, Sweet Angel. I'm out. Thank you, beautiful babes. See you soon. Bye now. Don't know if you know this too. I'd rather be right with you. Nothing else matters right now. It's just you and me, boy. Either.